guys, it's Tammy, and guess what? Today I am bringing you a video on condiments and keto, um, especially with ketchup, because, you know, when you're doing the ketogenic diet and you just want some ketchup, most of them contain high fructose corn syrup or corn syrup, and which does what? It spikes your insulin levels. And what are you trying to do on ketogenic diet? Keep your insulin levels low. And sometimes a ketchup can have up to like five grams of carbs per serving with like four grams of sugar. So you're missing that ketchup. I was shipped from Ultima Sweets. I was shipped spicy ketchup. I was also shipped regular classic tomato ketchup. And I was also shipped his barbecue sauce. Now a quick story. Um, a gentleman named Jared, he is the CEO and, and co-founder of this. He was on a weight loss journey himself and he had a hard time finding a low carb condiment. And he just experimented in his kitchen, you guys. Um, gave it to his friends and family. They said, hey, you need to market this stuff. And that's exactly what he has done. So support your small business owner, you guys. It is so worth it. They don't come around that often. And big wig companies are definitely putting them out of business. So please, I will post the link either up above or down below to this company. Now, last night, I did try out the classic tomato. Um, stevia gives me a headache and it upsets my stomach. So I wanted to try it out first before I, you know, gave my video. And it didn't. It didn't whatsoever. Um, so the claim have, um, is gluten-free, calorie low calorie, non-GMO, low carb, no artificial sweeteners, paleo, vegan, no preservatives, and low carb. Now, when you read all that, you're pretty much saying, and no flavor. But I'm going to tell you right now, this ketchup has tons of flavor. The nutritional value on this for one tablespoon is five calories, zero fat, two grams of carbs, one gram of sugar, and one gram of sugar alcohol and protein zero grams. Now, this is the part that I love. I really never paid attention to the ingredient label until I did my 21 day war on sugar. This stuff is all natural. Tomato paste, water, white distilled vinegar, non-GMO erythritol, sea salt, onion, spices, paprika, stevia extract, and garlic. That's it. All natural stuff. Now, does it have that stevia bitter aftertaste? No, it does not. And this ketchup, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not like runny ketchup. This is kind of like a cross between um, the ketchup you get in the store and a tomato paste. It's, and it's thicker. It's really good. It's ketchup. I mean, this is how ketchup should taste. It's not sweet at all. It tastes like ketchup. It really does. And it's all natural. This stuff is really, really good. Now, let's move on to the spicy stuff. Okay, let's clear the palate. Okay, I am not a spicy girl. Um, if it burns my mouth, I ain't touching it. I don't like it. Blech. I had my daughter try this out. She can eat a habanero whole. And she says it just tingles her mouth. That brave girl. Um, but she said that this is a really good ketchup. I don't know. I'm going to try it. Okay, once again... It has the consistency of the regular ketchup. It's on the thicker side. All right. Okay. Okay, the, there's the tingle. Let's hope it just doesn't go past that tingle. actually 
tasting pretty good. It's not that spicy at all. I mean, it makes your mouth tingle a little bit, but once again, it's not like your regular ketchup. It's not like tomato paste. It's an in-between, the consistency. It's not sweet at all. And the only difference is it has jalapeno peppers in it. Otherwise, it's the same recipe. And it has two grams of carbs. It has one gram of sugar and one gram of sugar alcohol. So alternate sweet, spicy tomato ketchup. If you just like that little kick in your ketchup, this is really, really good. I'm impressed. No wonder my daughter likes it. Now, on to the barbecue sauce, okay? Now, before I started my keto journey, before I even thought about going on a diet, I was a lover of Casey Masterpiece. I have yet to find a barbecue sauce that's like Casey Masterpiece. Um, I actually had my daughter be the guinea pig on this one, too. Um, she said it was okay. She said it was, it was passable. She said it wasn't like Casey Masterpiece. But she said it was good. But, of course, you know, Mama, I got to be the judge of that one. Now, the nutrition facts on this is two tablespoons is 25 calories, one gram of fat, 230 milligrams of sodium. It says 230 grams of sodium. So, alternate sweets, if you're watching this, you might want to change that. Uh, total carbohydrates is seven grams. Uh, dietary fiber is one gram. Uh, sugar is three grams and sugar alcohol is two grams and protein is one gram. Now, once again, let's do the ingredients. Water, tomato paste, black strap molasses. That's where the carbs come from. Now, I looked this up and black strap molasses is the lowest glycemic um, index for molasses. I believe it's anywhere between like 50 and 55. Um, but you guys, it's all natural. It's not fake, you know, stuff going into it and other chemicals to make it taste good. It is natural. Um, white distilled vinegar, non-GMO, erythritol, butter, um, sea salt, natural liquid smoke, spices, natural flavors, onions, paprika, garlic, stevia extract, and red chili peppers. Now, like I said, I have not tried this. Smells like barbecue sauce. You can smell that smoky smokiness to it. Okay, so it's not as thick as the ketchup, which I like. It smells really, really good. It doesn't, can you smell? <laughs> Joking. It doesn't smell like really sweet and it's not really smoky. Hey, that's really good. That's really good. That's sweet and smoky original barbecue sauce by Alternate Sweets. That is pretty darn close to KC Masterpiece. Honest to gosh, if you were to put like a little bit watered down version of KC Masterpiece next to this stuff, I, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference really. And it's all natural, you guys. All three of these products are all natural. With seven grams of carbs and one fiber, but only three sugars and two sugar alcohols. So you people that count net carbs, you do the math. I don't, I don't do net carbs. I just do total. So we have the barbecue sauce. Let's flip this around here. Barbecue sauce. We have the spicy tomato ketchup. And we have the Tomato Classic. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being great and 1 being um, the barbecue sauce, I have to give it like about an 8.5. 8.5 to a 9. Oh, my God. It's so much better than this stuff. Okay. Spicy. I would have to give it like about a 7.5 or 8 because I just really don't like spicy stuff. But if I ever do want that kick, that extra kick, this is definitely the bottle. Like I said, it's not an overpowering where, you know, you're racing for water or, ra or racing for milk to, you know, to cool that down in your mouth. This is actually really, really good. And their ketchup on a scale of 1 to 10, 
I would have to give this about a nine. And the reason why I give it a nine is because it's got all natural ingredients in it and it's low in carb. So yeah, you guys, I'll post the link to the company up above down below. Now I just want to let you know, and I'm going to pre-warn you each bottle is $10 and 50 cents, but hold on, wait a minute. It includes free shipping. You guys, it includes free shipping. So if you guys are going to order this, just remember one guy made it in his kitchen and now he's trying to make a business for himself. Support your local small business owner, you guys. This ketchup and barbecue sauce is really good. I can't complain about it. Um, they also do ship to Canada, so you're going to have to look for those prices. But go to the link either above or down below. Get yourself some keto ketchup and some keto barbecue sauce and some keto spicy ketchup. It is worth the money, you guys. Great macros, all natural ingredients, and support your small business owner. All right? I will talk with you guys later. Have a great day.